Hello everyone, this is Vincenzo and I am finally back uh, with a new video. I know it isn't the first time I say this, but uh, I apologize. I have been very busy during the last three weeks, but today we are going to play a nice game of chess and hopefully uh, you are going to learn something or you are going to find this video entertaining or both hopefully uh, but anyway before we begin uh, you have probably noticed that um, there are ads on my home page here and this is because I have ended my premium chess.com membership not because I didn't find it worth it in fact I think it's a very good deal to be honest but the problem is that at the moment I was playing uh, much chess so I prefer to use my money uh, in a different way uh, at the moment hopefully in the future I'm going to upgrade my account again anyway uh, let's play uh, some bots and you have probably seen the new zombies bots uh, they are very fun to play um, so I want to make a video uh, on I mean more than a video on these bots but I don't want to play a 400 rated bot at the moment so we are prob probably going to start uh, with Zombiachi uh, which is not the strongest one it is 1400 but I feel like uh, I'm not playing uh, too good at the moment so let's play the second um, highest rated zombie bot and in the next video we are going to play Zombaru which is rated uh, 1800 so Nipomniachi uh, sorry uh, this is very hard to pronounce Nipomniachi I believe was the last world championship challenger before the zombie outbreak be word the zombiachi um, so what do you think let me know in the comments uh, what do you uh, think about uh, Jan Nip uh, Nipomniachi I believe uh, it's uh, sorry I believe him because he, I think he's, in, he's not a zombie at the moment <laughs> but it is obviously uh, not an easy task to to get to play the world champion so is a very very strong player and I liked uh, the games he played during the world championship uh, I know he kind of uh, breakdown broke down during the the matches because uh, you know when he lost that very long game the how many moves was that like 120 moves something like that I, I don't remember I mean everyone will just uh, kind of give up but he's a very strong uh, player and who knows maybe the the next world champion because now that uh, Magnus Carlsen uh, gave up his title who knows but obviously a very very strong player anyway enough talking let's play random color as always challenge mode as always and uh, we are going to play uh, the London although this move the St. George defense is not very common so we should probably be principled and take the center now do we accept this gambit of course we do because I'm a, a very greedy player so if I see uh, I mean if I see a free pawn I just take it this is kind of like the England gambit if you uh, think about it but we are a move 
uh, up so is this a move they can give this check but now the bishop is not hanging uh, although this pawn is hanging we can block like this and give up this pawn and go here okay this is looks already kind of complicated maybe we, we can just develop to be honest and give up this pawn I always do this anyway in the Anglum Gambit so let's see let's calculate here check we develop defending this pawn takes then we go here and now this is a, a threat the king must move and um, we can yeah do we have compensation i have no idea uh, so let's go here and see what uh, what is going on now this is not a move anymore in fact you know what let's just develop and block against this uh, threat yeah wh what is this now i want just to jump in with the knight look at this now we can go here and and play this and be very happy yeah this looks very attractive should we develop first now let's go here wow i mean i can throw this check and then take this bishop and look look at the pawn structure with the, the king here this looks very very attractive let's go here first we can also throw in this check look at this our knights covering everything and then the queen can come in here you know what i don't know if this works but let's let's give a check now we can give this check and we simplify Uh, also the knight is hanging what if we go here takes takes we check and then can just block we let's double the pawns and then we can go here and i i don't know if it achieves anything but you know a check is a, a check now we want to play this move maybe but it is kind of a slow plan so let's go here develop now um take takes yeah let's take now we have these we also have these which is very uh, this looks like checkmate guys let's let's see here checkmate or check here checkmate wow very nice uh, game i i believe so yeah uh, don't play the saint george defense and don't play the england gambit because they um, are both uh, not very very good i believe well of course it it is only a 1400 rated bot but we got a very nice win i believe so let's analyze um, uh, this game i'm going to use my only game review because you know now i have the free account uh, so i'm using the only game review of the day 
um, to analyze this game and hopefully uh, we are going to learn something now this is theory uh, well it is a move actually white is only plus point uh, 52 of course we take the center now accepting the gambit is the best move because I mean it's just a free pawn now we go here which is excellent but it's not the best move although we are already plus two oh sorry we are already plus two on move um, four so which which one is the best move here oh developing the other knight i don't know why giving this pawn then probably kicking the queen around and developing very very quickly so yeah but they are around the same now uh, here this was a mistake but why probably because of this check let's uh, see the best move first yeah just developing you you know this is what i also play in the england gambit i just develop my knight give back the pawn and then i develop i don't know what like here takes takes um but here we played bishop f4 was this check a problem no d6 was the move here why let's see let's see what happens here probably knight d5 yeah and now uh, what happens here now we have to go knight d2 let's say we go here takes stays and probably king here yeah it is the only move and um, yeah we are winning but you still have to develop you have to go back defend the pawn so yeah let's go back all right now this was a blunder because we just develop and we get our knight to d5 which is very very strong uh, square for our knight now e6 was the, was the best move which is very nice to see because we throw in the the check and this check was good it was not the best move probably just trading first let's see oh e5 yeah because it, it is obviously defended twice so this this bishop has to move and then let's see the the line here oh and you did you see here um this move because if you take obviously you're going to lose the um, the queen so yeah very nice tactic uh, but okay we gave a check we doubled the pawns we gave another check obviously it was not the best move probably yeah uh, developing like this uh, yeah here and then going back now this was a mistake why because maybe because of this i don't know no this is a mistake too oh yeah because of this one oh yeah attacking the queen and the bishop then you have to go here and well it is still plus two so it's not a, a problem now i just wanted to simplify and the bot here blundered uh, mating two i like how uh, this is not a blunder but just a mistake I mean this was plus six and now it's mating two uh, luckily we found it queen here and the king is uh, smothered by its own pieces cannot move 
anywhere the queen is defended twice so yeah very nice game um, uh, 16 moves checkmate so i hope you enjoyed this game let me know in the comments if you have beaten uh, zombiachi and see you soon hopefully bye bye